slicing through steel in a matter of seconds. I thought, this can't be true. I said, this is gonna be, this is gonna be big. What, first thought in my mind, this is gonna be big. 100% environmentally safe. Yeah, it's, it's pretty exciting to have created uh, this very unique gas. It's, it's very evolutionary. I think it'll change the world. Uh, in our, in our own, own small way, which will get bigger, uh, we'll, we'll change the world. And, uh, and it'll make it a better place, that's for sure. Producing results that have never been seen before. I mean, how can you not love it? It's three times as fast. It's so much cleaner. Once you get accustomed to it, nothing else will ever be good enough. Sound like science fiction? It's not. It's here. It's now. It's HHO gas. And it's evolutionary. Yet the source of HHO's energy has been here since the dawn of time. In fact, it's one of the most common substances in the universe. Water. For centuries, man has tried to harness the power of water. And as early as the 19th century, scientists narrowed their focus to the two comprising elements of water, hydrogen and oxygen. They knew that these two individual gases could be produced from water, but found it was very expensive to do so, requiring tremendous amounts of electricity. In addition, the resulting quantities of hydrogen and oxygen were small and extremely dangerous if not handled properly. As a result, many believed for decades that there was little to no commercial future for water as an alternative fuel source. But then came the dawn of a new millennium, and with it, the birth of not two, but one unique new gas, HHO. By expanding on older research and using a more sophisticated approach, inventor Denny Klein developed a new process and machine that would finally achieve what was once thought impossible. The H2O2000 machine is uh, very user-friendly. Uh, basically, you just need electricity and water. And from that water, we make a very unique gas called HHO gas. Uh, the gas is made on demand uh, without any high-pressure tanks, and it's, which is a, a big safety factor in the industrial arena. Indeed, when compared to other more traditional gases like oxyacetylene, HHO gas and its H2O2000 generator is much safer, easier, and less expensive to operate. In fact, HHO has no toxic fumes, no ultraviolet radiation, no dark soot. It's odorless, colorless, and 30% faster. I've been uh, welding, steam fitter, plumbing for 26 years. My granddad has been doing it for 55 years now. Uh, we've seen this machine, both of us were just blown away. Uh, by the applications, and we're burning water. They just blew us both away. For workers in the welding industry, HHO being generated on demand and on site by the H2O2000 can mean a savings of $20 an hour in gas costs alone. Here we've got a hot water piping installation. 26 years ago when I came into the trade, the norm was using propane or uh, acetylene gas. The carbon soot coming off of the fossil fuel gas would blacken the walls and nobody wants to repaint their walls. Here today we've come in with the uh, HHO gas. It's cleaner, more efficient, and it increases our productivity with less heat stress on the members. And we go in and do it in half the time. Acetylene, you're usually running about a minute per joint. HHO gas, they've timed me and I've got it down to 12 to 15 seconds. Thousands of joints per, per job, you're increasing the productivity twofold. When in a side-by-side -side comparison, it is easy to see how much faster HHO gas can be. Finishing this copper joint in just 14 seconds, HHO leaves oxyacetylene behind in record time. We go in, 
contractor's making money, the homeowner is saving money, and we're making money because we're working. HHO's flame itself is only 259 to 279 degrees Fahrenheit, but reacts quickly with whatever it is applied to. Our temperature is 259 degrees. We can instantaneously start cutting the steel right away. So we went from 259, 1400 degrees. This is refractory brick. We can literally burn a hole right down through the center of that brick, so we jump to 4500 degrees. We can go from 4,500 up to over 10,000 degrees. We can totally subliminate tungsten. That's at 10,000 degrees. Very concentrated flame. Doesn't burn my fingers. In robotics, we can heat up a part. We can do it with one gas. We can heat the part up very, very quickly. As you can see, it's cherry red, and the whole part is, is consistently cherry red. This is a barbecue grill briquette. Again, we can get that cherry red in just a matter of seconds, instantaneously, when our gas hits it. Normally, that would take three to five times longer, and they would never get the BTUs that you get using our gas. This is a piece of ceramic. Again. In the future, an anode, as you can see, instantaneously, we can get thousands of degrees of temperature. We've gone over 13,000 in the laboratory. For the Navy, we've also done another project where we uh, cut lead. And again, we can instantaneously cut lead like a piece of butter. The nice part about it, we start out with water, and once the gas is combusted, it'll turn right back to water. Pure and clean water, making HHO gas 100% safe for those who use it and for the environment. Safety was one of the major reasons uh, that I was so attracted to this system uh, because for a long time it, we've taught the oxyacetylene system as a normal part of machine tool technology and uh, I literally was frightened for the young people because acetylene is such a volatile and explosive and unstable gas to use. Donald Wan is an instructor at the Fulton County Area Vocational School in Kentucky. He has found HHO and the H2O 2000's safety features to be a tremendous asset when working with high school students. You probably need to reduce your RPMs just a little bit. Very good. Our main focus here at the Fulton County Area Technology Center is preparing young people for life. We teach uh, high school aged young people, uh, 10th, 11th, and 12th graders uh, oftentimes are just beginning to seek what direction they're going to go for their workaday world or to further their education. Here in my classroom I teach machine tool technology and we have a pretty full spectrum machine shop, all aspects of it, the computerized, the digital, the general machine, and of course a big part of that is the welding part, and that is where HHO technology has fit so well with my class. Just the safety features was such a wonderful aspect of it that it is not explosive as acetylene is. It puts out no ultraviolet light, so it can't be damaging to their eyes. There's not many ways that you can maladjust this machine, and so they can't get too much pressure on one side or the other, and every aspect of it is a positive. Myself, going into mechanical engineering, I would rather work with HHO than acetylene, because acetylene is primitive. Acetylene is hazardous, toxic to breathe, um, explodes easier, costs more to run. After I get out of engineering school, I hopefully design, build, use HHO on some of my work. HHO technology replacing the oxyacetylene system uh, in, in the industrial world, in the educational world, in any aspect, as far as I'm concerned, is a done deal. HHO is truly remarkable and commercially viable for many industries. Some of the applications for the HHO gas, one of them being aluminum fusion, where we can 
actually fuse uh, various metals together. Another application is in the brazing arena where we use one gas where they're normally using two gases. We get a stronger braze, we get it faster, and it's all done with one gas. In steel cutting, this is from a Triton submarine. Very, very high alloy steel. We cut this 30% faster. We cut it with a number four tip where they normally take a number 10, so we use less gas. This is HY100 steel, and we got very little hydrogen embrittlement. This is a standard piece of carbon steel. As you can see, it's rusty. We took this piece in 2001. We ran our gas across the surface, and normally in Florida, steel starts oxidizing in, in the first 24 hours. We don't know how long this is gonna last, but it's been years. We've had this piece submerged under water, still no oxidation. HHO has proven itself to be an enabling technology in any industry requiring welding, cutting, soldering, fusing, or heating. My first opportunity to work with the HHO gas was about nine months ago in the offices of the hydrogen technology company. And uh, the end result was unbelievable. Joseph Spencer, an artist in the Tampa Bay area, has nearly 40 years of experience in glass and enamel. HHO gas, the color difference is unbelievable in the fact that with HHO, it's beautifully crystal clear, whereas with uh, propane or acetylene, you end up with a gray, muddy look, which apparently is from the gas itself. And you can't do anything about it, that you're stuck with it. Basically what I'm doing right at the moment is I'm heating a copper ball and we're putting it into the HHO gas. And as an end result, the heating is almost instant. And I'm applying the enamel to it, dark blue, and then we return it to the HHO gas, get the ball red hot. One of the nice things in this particular case with the HHO is that I don't have to do it more than twice. And then we're going to a mix. This mix is a combination of clear and white enamel. And as an end result, we'll end up with a snowflake bead. HHO is so clear, so hot, and so pure that you end up with an absolutely beautiful bead. Another huge advantage of the gas is its sheer economy. Our cost of running our HHO generator the entire day, including distilled water, which I get from the local grocery store, and our total electricity consumption is less than $7 a day. Furthermore, we never worry about running out of gas. As long as you can flip a switch and pour a little water, you've got all the gas you want. Dee Cruz is a copper artist in Cape Fear, North Carolina. One of the most signature traits of his artwork are the vibrant colors brought out in the copper by the HHO gas. In fact, much of Dee's work would be impossible without HHO gas. Okay, now we're cutting a palm tree top. This is a, a small palm tree, and this is a fairly intricate piece. You notice how cleanly it cuts and how little molten material it leaves. Uh, as she comes back down this leaf in particular, notice how the entire leaf is cherry red without falling off or, or melting away. We couldn't do that with any other gas. So the, the most outstanding and profound thing about HHO gas is that it represents something that is so totally unique, so completely different, and so absolutely new, that I think that it goes beyond being simply a new form of energy. And re in reality, as time goes on, will be proven to become or develop into an entirely new branch of science. That day may already have arrived. HHO's ability to bond with gaseous fuels and liquid fuels, such as diesel and gasoline, not only improves their thermal content, but the environmental quality of their exhaust as well. And in contrast to hydrogen fuel cell technology, HHO is much safer and does not require any changes to the current fuel infrastructure. Plus, HHO is available today and can be retrofitted to any car currently on the road. 
This is our latest hydrogen on demand vehicle. It has a 1.9 liter engine. And as you can see, we've made very little modifications. Totally different than the fuel cell where they're operating at up to 10,000 pound PSI. This 